Good morning, good morning. Here we are back for the uh, 17. This morning we're in Hall 4 at the Solutions 2017 exhibition and our first guest this morning is Sebastian and uh, welcome. Great to have you here. Uh, please can you introduce yourself to the uh, Ambienta Live Facebook sure, sure. viewers and a bit of a background of where you are from and what you do. Okay, well I'm a product designer and uh, it's now a few years that I've been doing the Solutions exhibition here as well so uh, this is not, not my main work but I also curate and uh, make uh, consulting apart from my normal product design activities so this is after all the best fair for consumer goods in the world so also uh, the world's largest international fair for home goods and homewares <laughs> so you know it's a good place it's a good stage um, and what I do here with the exhibition is to celebrate innovation in everyday household products uh, so it's 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 really focusing on functionality more than aesthetics in this case because I think sometimes that gets a little bit left behind in products today. So, uh, so yeah, so I could, I could show you. Have you got a, some examples? Yeah, yeah that'd be great. Just sort of uh, make some so, visuals for the words you're talking about. So, just as an example, this is a, is a it looks like a regular ladle, but actually, uh, this is for applying sauce onto a pizza. So, you put your sauce in here and the and the roller roller ball allows you to to spread it out over the pizza so that's great um this this is a drinking mug no no um, really yeah yeah i'm not kidding but look <laughs> how many times have you knocked it over that doesn't knock over but if you lift it up it's like magic so how, how clever is that due to due to what sort of uh well it's a it's a it's a, a suction cup but the weight of the of, of the mug uh, gives it enough pressure to block in one direction. But if you lift it vertically, it releases it. So it's 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 just making use of the uh, the difference in direction. Because if you were to knock it, it's like that. Uh, and if you that obviously you'd never do that by accident. So that's how you can release it. Very very cool. And I think when you look at the rest of these, what I call almost everyday objects, correct? So it's sort of, right, right. it's not just about uh, high-end design that sits in a, in a glass cabinet. These are objects that are to be used, correct? Absolutely. This is very mundane, everyday things. And, uh, you know, this, this, for example, this is a, a shower mirror mm -hmm. for shaving. By putting hot water in the back, uh, you stop it from misting up and uh, not being able to see anything in the shower. So, you know, little, little ideas that improve your life, um, your everyday life, but they're, they're not, as you said, they're not sort of high-end design products. Uh, and some of them are not the best looking, but, that, and, but that actually that's not why I've chosen them. You know, they're here because of their functionality. Uh, that said, quite often, kind of beautifully functioning objects also uh, look good. Well, that, that's, that's the end goal, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right. And I think if you, if you talk about the array you've got here, I mean, have you got any thoughts from, I mean, maybe going for a walk over and see the, uh, some of the larger halls and stuff over there, uh, and, and yeah. you say a few words of what you think about the Ambient 2017 to date? Right, well, it, it, we're located at the ground level of uh, Hall 4, mm -hmm. which has uh, actually got some of the best uh, companies and stands in it. So, I mean, going through this way, uh, you've got... Probably you've got Alessia, I can see Skelton. Uh, if, you, if you're going to come to one hall, uh, you best come to Hall 4, I, I would say, uh, at, the, at the Ambiente, because you could start here on, on the ground level and then go up uh, to the other floors where you've got slightly more high-end ceramics and glass and so on. But this, this is a really great place to start, yeah. And it's sort of, I think, what, what impresses me about this hall is that it's everything from the, I'll say, the larger big design brand corporations, right, yeah. and there's even, so the, 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 then there's a smaller sort of designer maker, uh, smaller brands right as well. Over in the corner, there's a uh, talents area, so they uh, promote young talent and uh, give them a little spot, but a spot which is right next to some of the big boys here. You know, so it's, almost, it's a great place to see the breadth of what design can actually mean. I mean. Some people just think it's the look of something, and as you've perfectly explained, the Solutions Exhibition shows the different facets of what design's all about. Right. And here again, it's almost like a design education walking through these halls, correct? Yeah, and, and actually, if you see and listen to what people are talking about when they come through, a lot of the people are not buyers. You know, they're students, they're, uh, they're different journalists. You know, it's, it's a really, it's, it's, it's a... An everyday uh, visitor you get coming by as well. So, you know, it's great. 
Well, we've taken up a lot of your time, so we really appreciate your, uh, your time this morning. And uh, we're going to keep on looking and see what else we can find in Hall 4. So thank you very much. We'll see you, uh, see you soon. Take care. Bye. Wow, that was really cool. He uh, really put a finger on the point of what this hall is actually about. Big, small, everyday objects, high design objects. And that's, again, a, a really good conclusion for what the ambient is all about. The, the, the multifacetedness from, from content is just incredible. And this afternoon, just so a few mental notes for you guys who are at the Ambienta today. Remember that the UK partner country, there's some big events happening this afternoon. If you check the agenda on the Facebook page or on the uh, Ambienta website, you'll find some details about those events. And again, we're going to go and see what we can find in Hall 4 uh, and see what other stories might pop up. So have a great day. All the best.